Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well and of course Arnie does too. In today's video I will be continuing my series on recently extinct animals and as I've said in previous videos, recent animal extinction should go down as a warning sign, as if we don't change the way we live we may lose some of our most iconic animals. There have been many notable extinctions over the past few hundred years, but today I'll be going through just a few of them, as I'll be going through five recently extinct species. And for our first species we'll be heading to the Bering Sea, as we have Stella's sea cow. Stella's sea cow was an extremely large marine mammal, and it once inhabited the near shore areas of the Commander Islands in the Bering Sea. It got its name of Stella's sea cow as it was first described by Georg Wilhelm Stella in 1741. Stella first encountered it on Vitus Bering's Great Northern Expedition when the crew became shipwrecked on the Bering Island. But this sea cow isn't the only animal that's been named after Stella as the Stella sea eagle and Stella's jay were both named after him. Stella's sea cow was a member of the dugong family of which there is only one surviving member. Although modern day dugongs can reach a very respectable three meters, Stella's sea sea cow was a giant and could easily triple this size. This sea cow had no true teeth but had an array of white bristles on its upper lip which were perfect for chewing kelp and other vegetation. As it preferred to feed on kelp, it had no need to venture into the open ocean and was very happy in the shallows. They were known to float at the surface and had little ability to submerge themselves. This made it very easy for them to feed on kelp but left them very vulnerable to humans. It's unknown if the stellar sea cow had any natural predators but it's thought that it may have been hunted by killer whales and sharks. But it its buoyancy may have made it difficult for killer whales to drown them, and their kelp forest habitats are not often visited by large sharks. Stella's sea cows were known for being very sociable. They'd often gather in large groups, and the adults would protect the young. Before Stella discovered these sea cows, they had already been hunted for thousands of years by the native people. It's thought that when he discovered them, there were only around 2,000 individuals left, and they may have already been doomed. As they floated at the surface of the water, they were easy targets for harpoons, and their caring social behavior also worked against them. Stella recounted that when sailors targeted a female cow, a male would try and ram the boat and would follow it all the way to shore. This meant that the hunters could easily reload and butcher the male too. They were hunted mainly for their fat and meat, and they were thought to have gone extinct by 1768. This was less than three decades after they were first described and shows just how much hunting can have an impact on wild animals. Although overhunting is thought to be the main reason behind their extinction, there are some other theories. It's thought that the sea cow's disappearance was a byproduct of the overexploitation of sea otters. Sea Otters were relentlessly harvested for the fur trade, and this had a massive negative impact on the kelp forests. Sea urchins famously have the ability to destroy kelp forests, and they need predators to hold them back. In some cases, these predators are large fish, and also sea otters. The decrease in sea otter numbers could have led to the increase in sea urchin numbers, and this would lead to kelp forests being wiped out. Without this kelp, the sea cows could have starved, but whichever theory you believe, humans still cause their extinction. Before our next species, we'll be heading to the Middle East, as we have the Caspian. Caspian tiger. The Caspian tiger was one of the largest subspecies of tiger and had a large distribution from eastern Turkey to China. They were thought to be in between the sizes of the Siberian tiger and the Bengal tiger, reaching a maximum size of around 2.25 meters from its head to the end of its body. In their native range they mainly fed on wild boar, deer and occasionally livestock. If you've watched my previous videos on recently extinct animals, you'll know that this isn't the first recently extinct tiger, as the Javan tiger was another recent extinction and we may lose a few more species. Species. It's hard to imagine the world without iconic animals such as tigers, but with their numbers dwindling in the wild, we could lose even more, and the Caspian tiger is a definite warning sign. It's thought that these tigers could have survived in Turkey up until the 1990s, but the only confirmed record in Iraq dates to 1887. This was when a tiger was shot in Mosul, and none were seen since. There are thought to be many factors behind their extinction, all of them being human related. Tigers were killed by large parties of sportsmen, who also hunted their main prey source, wild pigs. The wild pig range underwent a rapid decline during the mid-19th century, mainly due down to this hunting, as well as natural disasters and diseases. A large majority of the tiger's habitat was also converted into cropland for planting cotton, and the Soviet Union sent its army into forests to clear them of predators. This was so that settlements could be built in the area, and more farms could be created. The last sighting of this tiger was in Afghanistan in 1998, and it was officially declared extinct in 2003. Although this species as a whole has disappeared, according According to a study by the researchers at the University of Oxford, it was discovered that the genes of the Caspian tiger live on today in the Siberian tiger. As these two tigers had similar ranges, it's possible that there could have been some hybrids. So although they're gone, there is still part of them in living Siberian tigers. Before our next species, we'll be heading over to Japan as we have the Japanese sea lion. This sea lion was thought to be a subspecies of the Californian sea lion until 2003 when it was reclassified as a separate species. It's thought that they diverged around 2 million years ago 
ago, but they still shared many similarities. They reached an almost identical size at around 2.5 meters long, but obviously the females are a lot smaller than this. They were normally found along the northwest Pacific coastline, specifically in Japan and Korea. They were usually spotted on flat open sandy beaches, and they tended to stay away from rockier areas. It was estimated that there were around 30,000 to 50,000 Japanese sea lions in the 19th century, but only a few dozen by the 1930s. Many bones of the Japanese sea lion have been excavated from shell middens from the Jomon period in Japan. These sea lions weren't hunted for their meat, as it was described as being not very tasty, but instead they were only used to render oil for oil lamps. Harvest records from Japanese fishermen in the early 1900s show that as many as 3,200 sea lions were harvested at the turn of the century. This over-harvesting is what led to there being only a few dozen sea lions left by the 1930s, and the commercial harvests ended in the 1940s. Submarine warfare in World War II is believed to have contributed to their habitat destruction, and the last recorded specimen was a juvenile captured in 1974 off the coast of northern Hokkaido. The sea lion along with the Caribbean monk seal is one of the most recent marine mammal extinctions. But for our next species we'll be heading to South Australia as we have grey swallaby. Now there are many different species of wallaby still alive today, but unfortunately there are plenty of extinct ones too. This wallaby was found in the southeastern corner of Australia and preferred to inhabit large swampy areas as well as occasionally short grasslands. These wallabies were known to be social creatures and often lived in groups. They were often seen foraging in the twilight hours and were known for being very fast and could easily evade terrestrial predators. Many of Australia's unique animals went extinct during the European colonisation and this wallaby was just one of them. It's thought that a combination of threats caused their extinction, one of the factors being the destruction of its habitat. As swamps were seen as unimportant, they were often cleared for agricultural land. This meant that this wallaby lost its main habitat and also its main source of food. The Europeans also brought with them predators such as dogs and the European red fox. This fox is still a problem today and is known for wiping out many species across the world. The Europeans also hunted these wallabies for their pelts and eventually in the 1920s a conservation effort was made but it was all too late. The last wild sightings were in 1924 and the last known grey wallaby survived in captivity until 1939. This species is presumed extinct but there is still ongoing research in the area so although this species looks to be gone hopefully we can find some in the future. Before final species we'll be heading to northern Africa as we have the bubal hartebeest. This subspecies of hartebeest was found north of the Saharan desert and was normally found in arid grasslands. There are a few species of hartebeest still alive today and one of them was responsible for this old viral clip. These hartebeest live in large groups in the hundreds and are primarily grazers feeding on many different types of grasses. In the wild its main predator was thought to be the Barbary lion, which now is unfortunately extinct in the wild as well. Turns out humans have had a long history with this animal, as remains of bubal hartebeests have been found in several Egyptian archaeological sites. It's thought that these animals were domesticated in ancient Egypt, and it's thought that they were even used as sacrificial animals. These animals were also depicted in Roman mosaics, and these date back to the 2nd and 4th centuries AD, and although they were part of of our history, they are no longer with us today. After the French conquest of Algeria, entire herds of these animals were massacred at once by the army, and it was very hard for them to bounce back. In Morocco in 1917, three of them were killed by the same hunter, and the last individual was shot eight years later. It was thought to have disappeared at the same time in Algeria, and the last captive specimen died in Paris in 1923. It was officially declared extinct in 1994, and unfortunately this is another extinction that was completely caused by humans. But that's about it for this video. I I know this is quite a sad video to get through, but I think these extinctions are perfect warning signs. And if you have any more suggestions, let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.